Yeah, one thing that I wanted to drill in on is your passion. From reading your book, listening to your podcast, I get a sense that you're really hungry for life. Hence this desire for the adventures, hence why you're not quite retired, just hanging out and you know, playing golf somewhere and just like, I'm done guys. I really feel your passion. What's your definition of passion? Let's start there. Passion is something that ignites a fire and a feeling within you. And it doesn't come for me. It doesn't just come from, I see a business opportunity and I'm going to be passionate about it. I see a woman I'm going to be passionate about it. It takes a little bit of warm up, it takes a little bit of time. So for me, passion is the igniter. For that. And then eventually, for me, passion kind of fades sometimes. There's some days where you don't like your mate. There's some days where your business sucks and you don't want to wake up in the morning. Some days you're not passionate about what you're learning. And so that's okay because that's how it is. But when the passion turns to love, when the passion turns to this feeling inside and out. I mean, passion is excitable, but when it starts becoming part of your DNA and you start loving what you're doing, that's when you keep going. That's when I was standing at the bottom of an escalator at Nordstrom with a pencil for 16 hours a day. My passion was gone. I was tired. I didn't want to do it anymore, but I love my partners. I love picture. I love what I was trying to accomplish. I loved our mission. And so it kept me going. Then that would reignite my passion to go stand at the bottom of the escalator. So passion is all consuming to get started, but you need a little more than that to keep the, the, the fires burning. So the way I'm, the, when you are describing it, what I'm envisioning in my mind is concentric circle mm -hmm. and the highest level or the most superficial level, you have curiosity and then interest and then passion and then love. And then at the core of it, in my mind, is purpose. Mm -hmm. And the more superficial aspect of it, sometimes you may not feel so positive towards this thing that you're doing, but you're on purpose, that like you're committed to this love that you have. So if you don't mind going into it a bit, because I would say, would you say Pictionary is accidental or was it cultivated, that you just cultivate this love for Pictionary? Oh, totally cultivated. I didn't know I was going to love Pictionary, be passionate about Pictionary until a year or two into the process. So during the word list, eh, was I passionate? No. Was I passionate about the word list? Sure. Was I passionate about Pictionary as a vehicle for my life or for what I was going to do, I should say? No. But with each passing steps, the word list, then I got partners. And then about a year and some months after the game was physically produced by my hands and it was in my hands. I put all those pieces together in that game. And so when I physically had it, there was another switch that was flipped in my brain and my heart. I'm like, holy moly, this is real. It's no longer this nebulous idea that people are going to draw pictures on a pad of paper. And so now I'm going, okay. So when I started selling Pictionary as an experience. It wasn't a game. It was an experience. That's why it, the brand, what it was, that's why it kept selling. It wasn't just a game. It was an experience. But once I started feeling that experience myself, it started growing into passion. It started growing into love. It started growing into my life's work. I was like a lot of entrepreneurs, 16 hours, 20 hours a day, because I wanted that thing to succeed. I wanted to succeed. I wanted to turn thing out in the universe. I wanted people to play this thing. And that's what was driving me. We didn't make any money for a long time. So it was never the money that was driving this machine. Eventually, yeah, you've got to, you know, monetize and make money, certainly. But to begin with, it was just about sharing this experience with as many people as I could. Mm. And when I saw that and the people started telling me these stories over and over, how their life was influenced or changed, by this silly little stupid ass game that I invented. And that was powerful too. Mm. So influence and, on people was amazing. So if I'm here, let me see if I can recreate what you just said. One, it became 
a child when you saw an idea into a physical manifestation or something. So that was a pivotal moment. Another pivotal moment is you start to also experience firsthand for yourself, as well as with your friends, the, the beautiful quote unquote transformation or the product. So that's another pivotal moment. Another pivotal moment is you start to hear this brand child of yours making a difference in other people's lives, bringing family together, cultivating friendships and all that. So that's another pivotal moment. Is that accurate? I want to make sure I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's, as I said earlier, everything in life, let alone Pictionary or what we're talking about, it's just builds. Everything just builds until it doesn't. But in this case, it just kept building and there's many pivotal moments, not only in the game, but in life. And they just kept happening. Yeah.